we're doing the same kind of coverage that CNN's doing, that ABC's doing. We're just bringing all the students of Michigan State University School of Journalism together to do that coverage. How late do you think everyone's going to be here on election night? Till they collapse out of sheer joy. <laughs> This is Joanna Davis reporting for my first election. And the Romney camp isn't alone. In these final days leading up to the election, there's plenty of students here on campus who are also working just as hard to make sure it's the president who's claiming victory this November. I'm going to be writing and producing content for uh, my first election, the, a program we're doing here at the Michigan State University J School. As faculty, we all started talking about what we wanted to do to teach election coverage. Tonight on Focal Point. And joining us via Skype from LA is uh, Jeffrey Weisenbaugh. Jeffrey, how are you doing? I'm really interested to see how different students are reacting to the presidential candidates or how the media affects what they're doing. I was I love watching the presidential debates and sort of being political and making jokes and stuff. And um, I tweeted something about, it was towards the end of the de vice presidential debate between Joe Biden and uh, Paul Ryan. And Joe Biden was like yelling less. And he was like smiling and like laughing and stuff like that less. And I was like, he's, he's yelling less. He must be getting tired, must be close to his bedtime. And I guess uh, CNN saw it. Someone from CNN picked it up, put it up in their uh, top 25 most funny tweets about the vice presidential election. And I was like, cool, <laughs> like, sweet. I didn't think it was that, I'm like, oh, cool. I didn't know it was that funny, but cool. And it was up there with like Bill Maher and uh, Ann Coulter and a bunch of other people that are well known. So it's like, that's weird that they saw that, but. It's professional experience for students and their stories that students care about. They're the story, stories that youth should care about. Thank you.